Okay, here is another titration sample problem. This is very similar to the lab that we did in class on Monday that you can find on page 85, where we used NaOH to titrate a four mil sample of HCl. So remember the goal of a titration is to determine the concentration of an acid or base by measuring how much base or acid is required to neutralize it. You're gonna have a solution with unknown concentration, a solution with known concentration. In this case, our unknown is HCl, hydrochloric acid. That's what we put in the flask. So we put four mils of hydrochloric acid down here in the flask. And in our burette, we had our solution of known concentration, which was the base, and that was 0.20 molar sodium hydroxide. Initially, this is some sample data that I collected. This might be similar to what you got in the lab. It's okay if you got something a little bit different, but it should be roughly in the same ballpark. Um, initially, my burette was almost full, so I read the initial volume as being 4.5 milliliters. Then I added base to my flask of acid. I was using this indicator called phenolphthalein, and phenolphthalein is clear, colorless, when it's acidic, and when it turns basic, it turns pink. So what we did is we added enough base to uh, neutralize our sample, and I knew that it was neutral when the solution turned from clear to pink. So that's what tells me that you've neutralized your sample. So initially I had 4.5 mils of base in my burette. At the end, I, my reading was 30.5 milliliters. So the burette gives you a sense of how much base is being added to your flask. And so that's the experimental setup. Now let's go through the calculations. Again, the calculations the steps will always be similar when you're doing a titration. There's four basic steps you're going to do. The first step is to write out the balanced chemical equation. So my acid is NaOH, sorry, my base is NaOH, my acid is HCl, and it's a double displacement reaction. So the H and the Na are going to switch places, leaving me with HOH, otherwise known as water, and Na. Cl. You should always check for charge. Um, H is plus one, OH is minus one, so no subscripts needed there. Sodium is plus one, chlorine is minus one, so no subscripts needed there. So I don't need any subscripts and I don't need any coefficients in this equation. So this is one of the more straightforward ones. The next step is to find the moles of known, and here's where you can use your molarity equation. Molarity is moles over liters. If I'm trying to find moles, I want to take my molarity times my volume. And this should be for the thing that I know the concentration of. So in this case, that's the base. So first I have to do a little bit of subtracting to figure out how much base I actually used. So my final volume of base was 30.5 milliliters. My initial volume of base was 4.5 milliliters. So what that means is I used 26 milliliters of base to neutralize my sample. I know the concentration of the base is 0.2 molar. So to find moles, I am going to take my molarity, 0.20 molar, times my liters, which is 0.026 liters. So don't forget to convert milliliters into liters by dividing by 1,000. And when I multiply those together, I will get 0 0.0052 moles of NaOH. So that's how much base it took to neutralize this acid down there. My next step is figure out moles of unknown. Remember, in this case, HCl is my unknown. And what I know is I have 0 0.0052 moles of NaOH. And I'm going to use a ratio that I get from the chemical equation that tells me how much NaOH is needed for every HCl. So this chemical equation, they're all one to one to one ratios. So that means that every one NaOH um, reacts with one HCl. It's all one to one ratio. So if I had 0 0.0052 moles of NaOH, that means there were also 0 0.0052 moles of acid in my beaker. And the last question, what I'm trying to find is what is the concentration of the acid? So again, I'm going to use my molarity triangle. And if I want to find molarity, I'm going to take moles divided by liters. So my moles is 
0.0052 moles of HCl. The liters, make sure you use the right volume. Notice how over here we have three volumes that are given. So make sure you're choosing the volume that matches um, your unknown, which is the acid. So I have 0.0052 moles of acid, and my volume of my acid was 4 milliliters, divided by 1,000 is 0 0.004 liters. And you'll find that your concentration is 1.3 molar. So for this lab, you should be getting a value that's fairly close to one. You may have gotten a number a little bit lower than mine. And that's how you will do this titration.